uh, I would be a happy man even if 1% of uh, people convert. Other issue that we have is this. It's dust. So much dust. So much dust. As entrepreneurs, you get rejected a lot. But the problem is there is no water. I'm giving you a job and I'm paying you. I'm paying you whatever you want, like whatever your ask is. Why wouldn't you still, why would you still ghost me? Being an entrepreneur is a journey with its own set of ups and downs. And this is my journey. So in the past few weeks since I've been making this series, um, I've been talking about the issues that we're facing, right? The issues that I am facing while I'm building this company. So we've been talking about the issues I've faced while building a product. Um, I, I have spoken about uh, you know, hiring being an issue as with the last episode. I have spoken about how difficult it is to get a B2B client to sign the contract. Or, or a deal, how, do, how difficult it is to get a deal, right? So I've been talking about how difficult things are and um, in this video, I just want to get very real and talk to you guys about the fun part of entrepreneurship. So um, all of this is true, whatever I have spoken about uh, in, the, in the previous uh, episodes is all true all of all of the struggle is real all of it is real going through um, this entire process of figuring out how to get that done be it hiring or be it closing a deal the entire process of figuring it out especially if you are in a place especially if you're entering a market which either does not exist or you're entering a market with something entirely brand new right so you're entering with a product that people haven't seen yet and people are very apprehensive about trying something out in that space so especially in those cases you really have to there is no set path there is not a company that you can follow or a product by some company you can follow their roadmap and then just say hey this is this is what they did step one step two step three step five so I'm going to do these exact steps or some, something around this. You can't do that. So especially in a case like this, it just really comes down to you figuring out your own methodology of uh, approaching the market. And this part is the fun part. So you are essentially just out there talking to people and trying to figure out solutions to the problem. That's what's the adventure part. So this is like the phase where you've built an airplane, but then you've just decided to jump out of the airplane. So you're trying to figure out how we can do that. It's that exciting, like jumping out of an airplane, but you have to figure out the parachute bit. So we are in that phase where we are trying to figure out the parachute part of it. And then we're also trying to convince other people that, hey, this is possible. Like, Jumping out of an airplane is possible. It's only a matter of time till a lot of companies realize, a lot of people realize, and then they launch a product which is similar, which means other brands of parachute, and then everybody would begin to start to believe that, okay, this is possible. It's only the first mover in any industry that faces this kind of uh, resistance 
when the market is not mature, this sort of tends to happen. So it's not just about uh, the business development part of it. It's not just about closing the deal, but then there are so many challenges that you face on a regular basis, right? As an entrepreneur, as someone who's running a company, so many challenges that you face, but there is also the fun part of it. So compared to this lifestyle that I'm living, trying to solve so many problems versus a lifestyle which I had when I was in corporate, uh, if I had to choose between the two, I would obviously choose this. This is tougher, this is more challenging, but at the same time, this is more adventurous. I would choose adventure any day. So this, I think, would be my message to my 20-year-old self. If I had to choose between going for a corporate job or starting a company of my own, right off the bat, right out of college, without any experience, my message to my 20 year old self would be that I should straight off go ahead and start a company of my own. Fail, fall, get up, learn something new, fall again, get hurt again, emotionally, hit the wall again and see if you can break that thing. Throw things at the market and see if the market is ready to accept. That would be my message to my 20-year-old self.